Are we sort of hardwired so some of the primary things we enjoy is other people's misery and suffering? Since all humor is making fun of something, whether it be language, mannerisms, behavior in general, patterns we can see, stereotypes, and then there's slapstick. And if enough people get offended at something, then that something is deemed as something that we can't talk about anymore, we can't joke about anymore. Why? Because it would be enjoying other people's misery or suffering. <laughs> or laughing at other people's expense. Now, is there eventually going to be some point where, because so many people have gotten so offended at so many things, that there will be very few things left for us to be able to joke about? I mean, that's the direction things are going. Once you're no longer able to joke about something, I mean, that's it. That subject is closed. Even 10 years from now, you'll still probably not be able to joke about it without a big group of people being really offended. So when we have to banish a part of our nature because it hurts people, it leaves me with this question. What is a non-harmful, more productive way of harnessing those parts of our nature? Well, I, I don't think it exists. I don't think there is a way to do that. Less harmful? Sure. But the notion that we can completely eliminate that type of harm is ridiculous. We should be able to say, hey, this is the time for humor. This is the time for comedy. Hi, time for timer! We've set aside this time to be able to break away from things. To make fun of things. This is the time for entertainment. And at the same time, we should also be able to call out when people use humor as an excuse to push really ugly agendas. We can do both. And let's be clear, someone doing shock humor does not count as something that's designed to hurt people. You know, it's, it's not something that's designed to, to change people over to some sort of a, an ideology that's ugly. It's just shock humor. People trying to be offensive for the sake of being offensive. So, you know, we should recognize that for what it is, too. When it comes to just regular interactions, we're going to have to eventually draw a line in the sand with how far we should go, or be expected to go, in making sure we're not offending people. Otherwise, we'll end up trying to live a Demolition Man reality. And if you haven't seen Demolition Man, I highly recommend it. You, you really need to see it, just like you need to see Falling Down if you haven't seen it. But we need to figure out where the balance is between having productive conversation, productive discussion, and not offending people. As we become more and more aware of how multicultural we actually are, finding this balance will become more and more crucial. Anyway, thanks for watching.